As they go to the post, here then the field for the third race, the Trotters. Number one, Grandier Hanover and the driver, Dan Johnson. Two, the seven to five favorite, sudden strike for George Zernis. Number three, Park Hill Cromwell and Vic Hughes coming off a qualifier. Four is Uncle Doc and Terry Kerr, the driver. Five, Happy Bender and Bev Kingston. Country View with Bill Gale out of the six hole. Dover's Knight, John B. McPhail from the seven hole. Leafwood Frosty and Greg Campbell along with Kevin's Glory and Bryce Fenn on the outside. Little doubt that Sudden Strike will roll out to the lead. Can he hang on? Reg has the answer. And there they go. They're off and trotting. Sudden Strike going on out for an early lead. Moving up on the outside. Coming through to be second is Uncle Doc. Trotting up on the far outside. Third, Dover's Knight settling in to be fourth. Park Hill Cromwell. Coming through along the inside, Grandier Hanover. Leafwide Frosty is on the outside in sixth. The racing along in seventh is Happy Bender and trailing the field is Country View. Racing on over towards the first quarter. Uh, with a length and a half lead is Sudden Strike. The first quarter, 29 and two fifths. Trotting on through the stretch for the first time. No change. George Zernes and Sudden Strike with the lead. Racing second along the inside. And that is Uncle Doc. Trotting third is Park Hill Cromwell on the outside. Dover's Knight. Leafwood Frosty with Grandier Hanover along the inside. Country view and trailing is Happy Bender making their way on over towards the half. Still no change. Sudden Strike going along with the lead. Trotting second is Uncle Doc remaining in third. Park Hill Cromwell. Dover's Knight stuck on the outside. Halfway home in 101 and 1. Down the back stretch they go for the final time. Sudden Strike still with the lead. Uncle Doc has gone off stride as they race on over towards three quarters. Sudden Strike with the lead. And now moving through second. Park Hill Cromwell. Dover's Knight on the Outside third, Grandier Hanover saving ground along the inside. Leafwood Frosty on the far outside, followed by Country View and Happy Bender along the inside. Approaching three quarters, sudden strike still with the lead. Three quarters in one thirty-two, trotting around the far turn. Sudden strike now out by two, coming through second as Park Hill Cromwell Grandier Hanover down along the inside. Way out wide, Leafwood Frosty. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. Sudden strike, strictly the one to catch. And now on the outside, coming with a rush, Park Hill Cromwell on through the stretch. Park Hill Cromwell on the outside. Sudden strike going very rough along the inside. Grandier Hanover off stride. Park Hill Cromwell. Well, a major upset from that third race, as the odds board will reflect. The winner going off at 20 to 1, Park Hill Cromwell. But after all, he is a winner of $150,000 lifetime. And Vic Hughes coming off that qualifying mile uh, really made it difficult for the public to back him in any big way. But nonetheless, he followed in at the rail, made his move when he had to. He knew Sudden Strike would be going out to the lead. And Sudden Strike getting winded and giving it up, coming to the wire. Park Hill Cromwell, now 10 years old, an old veteran grinder. And a bit of a rules interpretation here. Sudden Strike is off stride, as you see at the wire. He is quartered or caught from behind at the wire by five Happy Bender and six Country View. And that is why, even though Sudden Strike had finished second, he is placed fourth behind those, quarter, those horses which had quartered him at the wire. So it's Park Hill Cromwell returning 43-10, 14-80 and 8-10. Number six, Country View is second, $6.350. Number five, Happy Bender up for third, returning 390. The 36 exactor because of the 20 to one shot on top, returning $285.70. And that uh, first half of tonight's twin triactor, three, six, and five, returning $545.25.